the United States Air Force Global Strike Command plans to deploy promising hypersonic AGM-183 missiles on B-1 bombers. This was reported by Air Force Magazine with reference to General Timothy Ray Air Force Global Strike Command. It is, in particular, about the return to the fuselage of eight external points of the suspension. Initially, missiles with nuclear warheads were placed on them, but in the 1990s, aircraft were converted to conventional weapons as part of international agreements. Now Ray intends to equip at least one B-1 squadron, that is 18 aircraft, with hypersonic missiles. It is noteworthy that the modernization of the B-1 for the AGM-183 missiles is not provided for by the U.S. military budget, so the use of pylons is considered as the simplest and cheapest option of re-equipment. However, a mixed variant is not excluded, when part of the missiles is placed on the wings, and part inside and is launched using a turret-type launcher. Then the B-1 could carry 31 hypersonic missiles. As for the hypersonic missiles themselves, it was planned to take them into service in 2021. There is little reliable information on this project. In particular, it was reported that the maximum speed will be up to Mach 20, but it is difficult to say how close it is to the truth. One way or another, at the moment the United States in terms of developing hypersonic weapons remains in the role of catching up.